Warning, security breach in the med bay. Warning. Security breach in the med bay. Can't be awesome. Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, the London Eye, Towers of the Parliament, Pret a Manger, Westminster Abbey, St Paul's Cathedral, London Dungeon, Trek's Adventure, Madame Tussauds, Bricks and McDonald's, Sex again! Tower Bridge, London Bridge, this bridge, which is called Albert. <laughs> that is that is alarmingly cute. It's a cute name for a bridge, fair play. Yeah. I love London and I have been here for six years, but I've never been a tourist here, and I want to experience the city in a completely different way to see if it provides value for money. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. The London Tourist Board is called Visit London, and there's a particular combination of attractions which I've always seen violently promoted and has always intrigued me. Surely, they're all shit. That's the London Eye, London Dungeon, Shrek's Adventure, and Madame Two Swords, which is all the way over there for some reason. But you can buy a bundle ticket for all four for about 75 quid. So I did that. Let's see if it's worth it. So I've walked over here as if I'm leaving, but how would that work? Because the cat, I've got to come back for that. I got a photo in this thing outside whilst my girlfriend got to grips with the idea that I didn't want this entire video to have black bars on the side before half committing to panning over to the Shrek sign. It was going to be a long day. I got a picture of some characters I assume are all in the SCU, the Shrek Cinematic Universe. I made sure I didn't have any prohibited items, which was a close call, as I almost did bring my enchanted frog and switchblade. Now the staff kept on cramming and made up Shrek words throughout the day, like... I'm having a Shrek-tastic time. Which was really weird, but not as weird as realising this wasn't generic Shrek all ages fun, like the Shrek films are. This was an experience for 8 year olds, and I am a 27 year old with no offspring. Departures. You start on a pretend bus tour where you run over a wicked witch and then go for a series of different shrek scenarios with poor Shrekters That's what I call a good start. who have to do the same lines in a dark room about 10 times a day. Alright everybody, I'm sure you all had a spectacular time on your tour, but once the experience had finished, I met some more friends from the SCU. <laughs> I then passed up the opportunity of spending 30 quid on a massive gingerbread man or 8 quid on a single Shrekmas decoration. A Shrekoration! Sh I, there was just so many Shrek puns, honestly. They, it was like, Shrekslan and have a Shrektastic day. Je oh, Jesus Christ. It sort of felt like the first shift at the red light district. Just a bit too early and there's not too many people. A few stragglers, a few weirdos and I'm the weirdo. Next up is the London Dungeon. I just hope this isn't for children like the Shrek one, which I should have been aware that it wasn't for a 27 year old, but I, I wasn't, it turns out. I thought Shrek was for all ages and now I'm slightly devastated. Let's see if the dungeon has any criminals <laughs> apart from this guy. I entered the spooky London Dungeon in my usual awkward fashion, which with a normal on the day ticket is at the low, low price of 31 smackaroons. Uh, I am at <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now you can't film inside, which makes sense, but it was essentially Shrek's adventure, but replaced Shrek with Jack the Ripper and a random pitch black log flume ride with a scary score of five. Oh, spooky number. I considered the 25 pound for the well hung shirt before exiting through an actual pub. <laughs> It's five pounds for a pint, which is the cheapest pint I found in London, apart from spoons. I thought it was more, more of a tour of an actual dungeon. It was just like Shrek, but dark, and with less like friendship, and waffles and Shrek puns. I enjoyed Shrek more than London Dungeon, which says quite a lot about me. I also paid twenty pounds for two photos. 
know I may appear to be in London, but I don't have to be, because with today's sponsor, Surfshot VPN, I can pretend to be I'm anywhere in the world. I'll give it a, a rating of four. It looks a little bit shiny, and it's old and actually quite impressive. Why not use Surfshot to unlock the full Netflix catalogue and get more for your money, or use it to protect yourself when you're connected to public Wi-Fi? This is Tower Bridge, which surprisingly does have Wi-Fi, and is also very nice to look at five stars. Public Wi-Fi isn't often very well encrypted, if at all, so connecting via Surfshark VPN will give you the safety and security you need to hide yourself from those clever little freaks who want your stuff. This is London Bridge. The original one actually got bought by an American and is now in Arizona. Our new one looks like sh Surfshark are also the only VPN to offer the use of one account on an unlimited amount of devices across almost every single type of device. So use my code Kieran to get 83% off plus an extra three months for free. Surfshark offer a 30 day money back guarantee so there's absolutely no risk in trying it out for yourself. Use my link in the description below. This is Albert Bridge. It's my favourite bridge in London because it's next to the lovely Battersea Park but mainly because it's called Albert and I knew a rabbit called Albert and I was very fond of him with a very sweet rabbit. Which makes me sound mental, but it's actually true. <laughs> Madame Tussauds was the next waste of money and a 37 pound on the day ticket allows you to meet God, Michael Buble, Beans Dick Humperdinck, or whatever his fucking name is, Bad Star Wars, great guy, Posh and Bex. Hello, uh, United shit and the Spice Girls are wank. Piz Morgan's arch nemesis, my new girlfriend. Priyanka Chopra and Priyanka Chopra's obscenely open top. Nice. Tom Cruise, The Rock, an alien tunnel, which I, I didn't fancy going down, to be honest. Warning, security breach in the Med Bay. Warning, security breach in the Med Bay. Can't be awful. Warning. Bruce Willis, Robert Downey Jr. in whiteface. Look at the fucking size of E.T. Bloody hell, fella. Of course he's wearing a sheet over his head. You can't buy a hat in that size. A suspicious moustache. Judy Dench, a series of various womanizers. But then all of a sudden, I saw him. The goat. The captain, the leader, the legend. I was in his swamp. I was so Shrek excited. I almost produced some Shrek excrement. True Geordie. One deceased royal. Two deceased royals. Edgy political banter. A white supremacist. A 27-year-old man getting a selfie with a wax figure of Ariana Grande. Jesus fucking Christ. The Incredible Hulk's big batty hole. Then there was this cute little ride and at this point I had fully given up and I was absolutely sick of all this tourism. But then I could sense the force. <laughs> I would not recommend Madame to Swords. Just Google celebrities. That's pretty much it. It's the same same effect. It turns out being a Taurus is really tiring, and I'm sick of it. I think I'm miserable. In true English fashion, the earlier sun had now turned into rain, and whilst Matey picked his nose, I contemplated the fact it cost £36 to ride a glorified circus ride. It's all right. I saw a different attraction that I'd much rather be on. I saw evidence of some really terrible city planning because I hate this building. What a horrible shape for a building. I saw another sucker who had paid for the same Ferris wheel ride. I saw the Croydon Eiffel Tower and then I saw an opportunity to get off this bloody ride. I've replicated the events but I cannot replicate the joy someone has by travelling halfway across the world just to go on a a really big ferris wheel my back is now in severe pain and i quite simply want to go home i'm i'm very concerned i'm a miserable old man a miserable old man who's 75 well 95 pound 95 quid down <sighs> life why i had made some new friends throughout the day i'd reminisced about old friends too 
but ultimately I have set out on a journey to enjoy this beautiful city in a very foreign way, and despite inflaming pre-existing spine conditions and a reminder to use my link to download Surfshark VPN, I had a day full of new memories that I'll cherish for at least one more week. But maybe in a 2000 year old city full of wonderful history and architecture, instead of paying £36 for a 30 minute ride on a ferris wheel, just go for a walk around this gorgeous city and just imagine all the people who had once stood where you were and enjoyed the very same place before you.